Yo, 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 what is up fam and welcome to today's video. I don't know what to say. Maybe this is like the 32 weeks out. Should I just like start with that? Just roll with it and just count down until we get to the next show, which is July 30th. We're going to Toronto again. Probably going to make this a whole new series. It's the 2022 comp because I'm going to vlog the entire thing and that is my mindset. So I want to keep on doing these videos. So it keeps me accountable. So I know what my fucking goal is and I don't forget about it. So 32 weeks out whatever it is i don't even know kristen told me miranda's roommate well i guess our roommate told me it's 32 weeks so we're rolling with that shit if it changes one day and it's like 14 weeks well then it's because i fucked up and i was just listening to them so anyways we're gonna do the usual update so you guys can see where i'm at the body the physique the weight and then we'll go from there moshi is currently making pizza for me right moshi how's the pizza looking what are we making today keto JK, fuck keto, man. We need carbs, bitch. Moshi. <laughs> I don't have my trusty sidekick today, Miranda, who usually helps me with this part of the vlog. So we're going to do it on our own today. So we got this scale. That's what it's called. And smash my screen <laughs> on the wall. Let's do this. I got a little bit of clothes on, so we'll minus like maybe two pounds, pound and a half. I got sweats on, resilient sweats. Uh, damn, son. I don't even remember what I said I was last time. We are at 171. Hold on, let's do that again. There we go. 171.6. So minus a pound and a half. We're about 170. 170 pounds. You guys want to see what this thick motherfuck looks like? Yo, you want to know what's funny? Is I'm actually getting more compliments now that I'm heavier and thicker than when I was shredded. Like I had three people come out to me saying, bro, you look bigger. Like you look like you're like build out. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I wasn't getting compliments when I was like, Shredded and shit going to the gym because I honestly feel like I was withering away I still like I'm thinking back to the way I looked and how I felt compared to my other comp at VDC and It was totally different. I was not full at all. I was like thick skinned and Not full which is like the worst you can have and even when I was trying to fill out It was just like getting me even more like thicker skin like watery and then now I obviously am a little bit like fluffier, but my muscles are full. So I still look kind of lean, but big and like good shape. So basically what I want to do for the next comp is have this same fullness to the same shape, but obviously drier and a little bit leaner, but I'm not going to fucking go in ultra lean, trying to get like withered away into like a small little fucking toothpick. I want to have a wide back like VDC. I want to be full. I want to be confident and just, yeah, I want to bring the overall package that I feel good about. July 30th. Okay, so let's do a little pose down. Plant is always on the move. Miranda literally moves the plants everywhere. Every day, I tell her, like the plant's in a new spot, but I think it's uh, happy this time. It looks like it's growing. Still, let's have fun with it. Let's do it a little different. And that is pretty much the pose down. Feel good. Definitely thicker skin, but like hard. Strength is going up like crazy. My progressive overload workout plan is, I'm fucking loving it, honestly. It's so good. I feel like I'm like consistently working towards something every day. Like I go into the gym, I know what I have to do. I'm not just like training just to train. I have like a set plan. So I have all my weights kind of set out from the last workout and I'm either trying to beat those with reps or with weight. I feel like no matter what, next year I'm gonna be coming in better, stronger, not stronger. I'm not really, I'm not lifting on stage, but like just stronger overall in terms of like my physique and my confidence and everything. I normally go to the gym right after my first meal, but it is one o'clock right now. I had to answer like three tickets cause I got a parking ticket on a snow route. And then I got a speeding ticket from a camera and then a speeding ticket from a cop. So apparently shit happens in three. So hopefully I'm done, knock on wood. Three tickets, paid that shit, except I'm gonna try to get off one. All right, so I'm making my meal for the road to do some deliveries. I have 180 grams of chicken breast, 250 grams of rice, 50 grams of the corn and black beans mixed, and then I'm gonna, don't have very much left. So I'm gonna take just like the leaves of the kale and just kind of add it in there as my veg, and that's it. Fucking freezing. Deliveries are done, it is, Five o'clock now. It actually took me a lot longer than I thought. I had to kind of like do like a full loop around the city and I'm pretty much starting back in Miranda's area, which is like St. Patel, kind of whatever. And now I'm gonna go to the gym, 
smash legs. I'm not used to training at this time. Like normally I just wake up, eat my meal, wait a little bit and then go and train. So I might be stronger. I have two meals in me. I just took my creatine. I'm not taking pre-workout right now. So literally all I'm taking before the gym is creatine. I'm taking this one right now. It's a powdered form flavored. This one right here. That's what I'm taking right now. It actually tastes really good. And I would normally mix it in with my pre-workout but i'm not taking any pre right now just trying to take a little detox from caffeine and all this shit because i was on pre-workout for fucking like seven years if you guys have been watching you already know this shit but i just was taking it for too long and i've noticed a huge difference like i'm actually motivated to just go do my workouts and i'm enjoying them more um than i was before and i don't have any of those crashes or like random bursts of energy at night because my body's like going through these weird energy releases with the brand I don't I haven't really talked about it too much, but it's been a fucking struggle this past year uh, in terms of sales and like my favorite part about the brand is literally creating the products, making them amazing, improving them over time and obviously like making connections with people because um, it's obviously opened up so many doors for me. Like I wouldn't have met half the people I've met if it wasn't for my brand. Super thankful for that, but I'm not going to be able to do one of my favorite things which is create more products and launch them as of right now because this year has been so tough that i haven't been able to financially get to the place that i need to be to continue making these new products like i have so many products on the back burner that i'm just like consistently improving and that i'm ready to launch in 2022 like they're they're just getting better and better and i want to launch them so bad but shit's just been hard and i was literally talking to miranda and my mom about it yesterday and it honestly makes me a little bit sad like just thinking about it because resilient is like my baby i i love the brand to death and like everything that's been so many like my life has been so much better because of it like there's so many things i've done because of that brand i had to make a pretty big decision so everything on the website will be buy one get one free and i'm doing this i know it's crazy like even miranda said you're like it's crazy like these products are amazing like you shouldn't be selling it at a price that low like you put so much work and yes i agree but i need to financially get to the place where i need to be so i can continue to grow the brand and put the money back into it so yeah so i can just keep things going yeah it kind of sucks because i know how much work i've put into those products but at the same time, maybe it will be good because some new people will wear the brand. Some new people that may have not tried it because it was on the pricier side or they just couldn't afford it. Well, now it's literally buy one, get one free. Like that is insane. Like just me saying that is insane. Um, so if you guys want to head over there or if you want to tell someone else that has asked you about the apparel that you're wearing, because maybe you already support, honestly, anything helps, but I just really want to get the brand to where it needs to be so I can continue growing it and launch the new products um, in 2022. All right, so first main exercise is going to be a hack squat machine here. And like I said earlier, I'm going for progressive overload. So last time I did three plates and I actually started off with three plates the time before that too. So this time what I'm going to try to do is either increase the reps. So what I did is I set my weight for a rep range of eight to 10, and then I'm trying to work my way up to 12 reps. Once I hit the 12 reps for three sets consecutive, then I kind of reset. So I find a new weight that is in that eight to 10 rep range. So I think for this time, my goal is to get 12 reps, three sets in a row. Since last time I was able to get, I believe it was like 12 reps and then 10 reps and then like nine reps. So if I can get that 12, then what I'll do is I'll increase the weight a little bit so then that way next time when I hit my leg day, I'm already starting at a heavier weight.
Yeah, yeah. Like Yo, you're on the block. Um, oh, great. I hear you. <laughs> yeah. I'm showing that. I'm just showing you here. I hear you have one of the hottest hot sauces. Can I try it? How much should I try? Did you try it? Mm -hmm. Touch the lid with your finger. Just touch the lid with your finger. Are you serious? That's Brandon it? Brandon did a drop. Touch the lid with your Let me just touch the lid. I'm on an empty stomach and I just hit it. With your pinky, I want that finger with the other stuff later. There you go. And just lick okay. that. Just lick it. Like that much? That's yeah. a lot. No, it's not. It's not. Just look it. Okay, no, am I actually gonna die from this? No, like, is fine. it gonna be bad? Tell him, be honest. It's gonna It'll be, be bad. hot, but it won't be bad. Same pain, but spread it on the mouth. Just look it. Just do it. You can't do that. It just starts right away. Yeah, just lick it, Jim. <laughs> you just gotta get in that ass. Did you leave some on your finger? I'll finish it. Are you ready? Finish it. Yeah, there you go. Suck on that thing. Okay, you already licked it, might as well eat it. Oh. Welcome to the party. Oh, it's creeping up. It's getting worse. Oh, yeah. Oh, it don't stop. Yeah. It don't stop. Where is it? Oh. I want another one. I'm going to do one more head. <laughs> it's getting worse. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Got dry scoops. Let me see it is. Yeah. Alright, I need to take out this jacket, I'm getting hot. <laughs> Man, that's not cool. We back at the casa, making my meal number three. Had the other one in the car. I think I showed you guys that, right? Here's the next one. Pretty much the exact same thing. We got 180 grams of chicken. There wasn't 250 grams of rice I ran out, so it's like 220, and then I just added more black beans to get the extra carbs. I'm also adding one avocado to each day, which uh, usually goes with the chicken meal. Got a little bit of green onion, because it's lit. And then some lettuce, because I ran out of kale. Man, I don't know what's going on, but my sinuses, I have like kind of said this in the past videos, it's fucked, man. Like I feel like fullness here, head pressure and shit here. I've seen an eye doctor, an allergist, ear, nose and throat. I've seen obviously my like regular doctor. Now I'm going to see a neurologist just to make sure like none of that shit is making this happen. Cause I get like super off balance, head pressure, sometimes like nausea and stuff. I don't know what it is. I'm using like a nasal spray right now. It's time for the last meal. Miranda's here too. She's making something. She's actually, this is actually what she's eating. Just mini eggs and blueberries. And uh, popcorn. And popcorn. <laughs> Just kidding. The popcorn is for both of us. We're gonna watch a movie, probably a Christmas movie, or no, Arcane, right? Legend, League of Legends. Is that what we're watching? I think I want to watch that first. Yeah. They also just released um, my favorite show, or was my favorite show, Lost in Space. I've been waiting forever for them to release uh, new episodes, and they finally did. It's a dope series. But I'm making my food right now. Meal four. I just made this earlier. We got. Onion and mushrooms, just caramelized with a little little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, and seasoning salt. The meal's in here, actually. We got 180 grams of ground beef, a little bit of green onion, and then 50 grams or 60 grams, I think that was like 60 grams of corn and beans. And then we're gonna take some of the rice that I just made, and we're gonna do 250 grams of rice. Every single meal has 250 grams of rice, so three meals. I was just saying to Miranda, I feel like my Thursdays, aren't very eventful and I'm showing you guys pretty much the same thing like the most eventful thing is probably my workout it's fucking winter it's Winnipeg there's not a lot to do it's not like I'm traveling around and shit I'm pretty much just like in a routine of training eating whatever focusing on my brand but in the winter there's not much shit to do there's not a lot to show you but uh, I'm still gonna continue to show you guys what I'm doing and like my progress throughout this like off season but I'm gonna try like planning some more shit on Thursday so it's a little bit more eventful and not just like boring as fuck we're not boring as fuck. We're not boring, but when it's minus 40 out and there's not much to do but eat and train, then <laughs> it's not boring. But we it's can just like what needs cheats. to be done. We can have cheats on Thursdays. I mean, That's I actually have a, a good idea. I have a cheat do... every Thursday, every day. <laughs> <laughs> I have fucking mini eggs. Yeah, mini eggs I have and mini blueberries. eggs and blueberries. We should actually do that. We should do a cheat Cheats meal on next Thursday. Thursday. Next Thursday, Christmas? We When's can't Christmas? have a cheat on that Thursday because we're going ham to two Christmas parties, um, which I feel like most couples do. I'm very fortunate that, well, that we both don't have both sides of our family here. So we only have to do two Christmases. Well, we do Christmas Eve at my place, Portuguese dinner, and then we do the Japanese dinner at, it's not even Japanese. I wish it was like authentic Japanese, but it's not. It's, it's white Japanese. 
and we do that at Miranda's on. There's usually a couple Japanese dishes. Yeah, I wish you guys did like straight Sorry, up sushi. Sorry, I'm not fucking like you guys were bob cooking. enough for you. Sometimes we do sushi. I actually, I wish. Remember I, when we made homemade sushi all together? Yeah, that was actually a lot of fun. Fucking liar. The sushi man. bake was actually really good that Michelle made. Oh my made, god, we had su we had Japanese night when it's just my immediate family. We had Japanese chicken wings, which my mom makes like a sauce from scratch. It's so delicious. And then we had sushi bake, where you make um, like the rice, you put the Japanese mayo on, you do the shrimp, you do the crab. And then you bake it in the oven. White and you take your there. dick and put it in the fucking rice. And you take that and you scoop it and you eat it with your hands and it deconstructs the sushi and fuck! It's so good. What do you guys say about that, Moshi? Oh, yeah. Anyways, there's not much more to show you for the rest of the day. We're just going to put on some Netflix, eat, chill. Feliz Navidad. Yeah, Feliz Navidad, Pimba, Smush, whatever. Um, yeah, anyways, smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you guys are new. Moshi. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Moshi! She's finger popping my shoes right now. What are you doing? Keep the bitch, but I don't need the bitch. Ray Charles, John Cena shit. I can see the bitch. In the DM, send the naked pics over that bitch. But I send it in the pool, even though I'm rich as shit. It's fucking. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can't say that shit. You can't say that shit. I can't say that shit.